What is up, alphas? You came to the right video to find out exactly how I managed to sell around 50K during Corona in courses and snapshots for go high level. And what's even crazy about that is Corona was like two or three years ago. And I'm still making sales to this day passively. I'm still getting my sales calendar book every single day passively for things that I did during Corona two or three years back. So first, let me just share my screen really quick. I want to show you that uh, one of my old Stripe accounts, because this is really what I was showing during Corona over here, which I made a bunch of majority of my sales over here. And yeah, we're still making sales passively literally to this day, which is incredible. But that's not the point of this video. I'm not going to show off my, my Stripe account here. I got, I got plenty of them. But what I really wanted to use today is I want to show you our exact funnel that allowed us to really do so. And the way it allowed us to do, the way I really did this was starting out low, was having multiple different offers and also having multiple different price points. So let me share my, my screen over here. And let me show you my handy dandy whiteboard over here. Because the process is simple, guys. You know, the process is really simple. You no, know, it's not overcomplicate things. So now I got my hand in whiteboard. Let me choose my, my color over here. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to choose this. Great. So how the F does this work? How did I make this money, guys? I So first what you need to do is you need to be able to bring in traffic. You know, now these days, the people that are most successful, you know, the more attention you can get from somebody, the more money you're ultimately going to make. Traffic really is freaking attention. All right, whatever, attention. How can you grab people's attention? You know, well, it really, you got to ask yourself, you know, what are you selling? What services you're offering? Are those people, those services that I'm offering, you know, who's my who's my target market? So we got to ask yourself first a couple of questions. You know, what am I selling? Who am I selling it to? And are those people engaging with me? Engaging with me? If not, how can I get those people to engage with you more? All right. And if if these people over here are engaging with you and you don't know how, let me kind of explain this and then we'll go over more into detail on how exactly we made all this shit happen. How exactly I was able to make all these sales during a time, during a crisis, matter of fact. Really during a crisis where things were unpredictable. Okay. So what I was selling was I was selling knowledge, all right? I was selling knowledge, like the guy with the Lambo and the, and the, and the books behind it, right? What I like even more than this Lambo over here is knowledge. <laughs> yeah, it's just me losing my mind. But to start, like I said, what I was selling is knowledge, guys. I was selling to credit for clients. I was selling knowledge to credit for companies. I was selling, hey, this is how you automate and this is how you market was assigned to, to credit for clients. And I really came into, you know, three main products over here. Selling my snapshot slash CRM. And this was pretty much just go high a level. Okay. I'll sell my snapshot CRM. That's like automation over here. I was selling a course, a training. And the training, I was low ticket and I also had high ticket. I was training on how to bring traffic. So track course equals to traffic. Ah. Traffic generation, whatever, fuck it. All right. And now selling like personal consulting, one on one consulting. And the way I structure this is that at first I realized that, you know, one product does not fit all. They're just like there's no one business fits all, no business is really the same. You know, and I also realized that everybody has really different price points. So for one-on-one -on -one consulting, you know, I really, you can't offer multiple different price points right here, you know, because your time is limited on here. So you're limited on time, but over here, you can really sell different price points for them. So consulting, you know, it was all honestly by the hour and it was at least 300 plus by the hour. You know, sometimes depending on what it was, I would sell and how much value I would sell packages for 500 bucks or if it's straight up, hey, I was solving a solution for you in terms of 
I was showing how to run Facebook ads. I was showing you how to set up your tracking or our sh- no, tracking would be a little less. I made 300 bucks. Showing how to run Facebook ads. I was showing you how to optimize and systematize your social media so you can dis- record shit once and distribute among all your social media profiles. You know, those are really consulting packages that would take once, but I'm solving a big problem. And those are usually be like 1K plus packages. And it could take a me- matter of only 30 minutes to really do. You know, sometimes it'd be two hours, sometimes it'd be 30 minutes, whatever. But because I was solving the problem, I was able to charge 1K, you know? But it was just general consulting, helping them go higher level, helping them set things up. You know, it was at least 300 bucks an hour plus. Great. Consulting, that product makes sense. You know, let's talk about the snapshot and let's talk about the courses and how I'd really price those things out. So first, let's talk about the CRM. So what I immediately figured out first is that there's really two packages with selling a CRM here, you know, the CRM package where they're under your Go High Level account. So they're like a, a sub user. And then another one is where they just buy the actual snapshot. You know, snapshot is a one-time price. This has to be at least 1K plus. You know, I don't want to really deal with people. I'm not making at least a grand from them. You know, the the actual CRM, where I'll make them a sub-user in my account, depending on how much work they actually need. You know, for over here, it was usually around 197 slash month. Or what I would offer them is unlimited automations, whatever, for 750 slash month. But this is something that I'm kind of learning now and I'm offering this a lot more now. And that will give you unlimited funnels, unlimited automations, you know, a lot more personal one-on-one help. Whereas this 197 pen is I was listening just offering them go high level with just some automations. But what I would find is that people are inherently lazy. Human nature is inherently pretty freaking darn lazy, okay? So if I wasn't setting it up for them initially, you know, most people would drop off after the first month or two, you know, because a lot of these people were necessarily cheaper clients. I don't want to say cheaper clients, but they were people that don't already have this CRM set up the way they want. You know, they're not making 20K plus every single month. They're making less than 10K plus. And the people that really stayed were the ones making 10K plus. And then they're just buy and they're completely forgot about it. You know, those are my favorite type of clients, to be honest. You know, people that just buy that shit, it just goes on their credit card and they don't talk to you, whatever. They'll, they forget it's there pretty much. But then the other hand, which is the majority of my sales, 90% of my sales, were the people that are making under 10K a month, just want to get their business off the ground. And they would really, they would invest that 197 a month. And then depending on how much value it would provide them, they would either keep on using it for 10 months plus, you know, they still have them for three months now and they would keep on using it and no problem. But the other people that were more so lazy, that were making under 10K a month, you know, they would drop off after the first month because they would invest money into it. But like, oh, I'm not getting an immediate ROI. I got to put work into this. I'm fucking lazy. Fuck this. And, you know, they're not doing shit for me. First of all, at 197 a month, you know, I'm not going to go out of my way to really make shit happen for you, you know? So what I realized is that in order to really keep these, these 90 cents, 97, 90% of people on here that are under 10K a month, you know, really t- in order to keep these people, I was, I was going to need to make sure that these people are actually using the CRM. And immediately what I found out, and now this is some fucking alpha over here, guys, you know, there's some fucking alpha over here. What I immediately figured out is if I just got them the basic package, you know, pipeline changes, some like basic emails, appointment reminders, and a nurture campaign, plus I was able to offer them a custom funnel. So I would offer them basic, basic automations, and I would offer them a custom funnel. You know that custom funnel. I was I had my my VA charge me because we had templates that which kind of brand we 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 made like twenty templates and we just brand them out and give people a choice. But that cost me around forty bucks. Yeah, I would I would lose. You know, but it might cost me advertising. You know, dollars a hundred bucks. Then another fifty bucks to to onboard these people. I'm up 150, you know, really in my time being, might, might cost me 200 bucks the first month, really to get this client signed up and ready and rock and rolling. But I would find that in the second month, you know, because they were actually using that shit, they would end up staying with me way, way longer than I would think. They would stay for a lifetime with me. Whereas the other people over here that wouldn't really get set up, 
like I said, they would just fucking use it for the first month, see that their second bill was coming up, and either cancel it before the second bill or j- dispute that shit. Because they're like, oh, I'm not using this shit. You know, so I don't want that. I need people that were actually fucking using my account. And in order to really make that happen, is I was going to have to completely lose money the first, first or second month to make sure they stay on for the rest of their lives. And I would make sure I had to onboard them or my buddies onboarded them. And I'd make sure that I would even lose money sometimes completely designing their funnel. You know, but it was great that we had like 20 times of the funnels makes our lives a whole lot easier. But that was my, my train of thought with the CRM. You know, most people really would opt into the snapshot, in which case, hey, it would be at least a grand plus. Great. Now let's talk about the actual course and how I sold this. Training course. You know, honestly, most of my training courses will come along with, hey, I'm going to sell you the CRM or a snapshot. And this would just be like, hey, the course is a little bonus. Bonus course, whatever. That was mo- a majority of my sales. But when I first was starting my course, and I, and I really was like heavily advertising it, you know, my course was, it was $9.97 plus. And then you get access to one of my communities. You know, from before it was a Facebook group community, which I would just do a bunch of lives and really help people out. You know, but I'm not really going to sell a course for anything under $9.97. You know, because hopping in that call initially with them and selling them, it's not worth it. You know, uh, initially I did sell a couple courses for $4.97, but it's all $9.97 plus. You know, as soon as I hop on a call, and it was all two call close. It was all actually one call close. You know, it was an initial discovery call. In which case, on the actual call, you know, I would I would figure out first within the first fifteen minutes is, hey, do you even have enough money? You know, these nine ninety seven plus courses, you know, they got to be making at least five k plus. You know, and usually these people had some sort of other job that they were doing, and usually what would end up happening is that these people would watch like the first video of the course. And drop off after that. You know, most people are already watching freaking course. Most people think that, hey, I'm going to invest a grand into this. And because I'm investing into that, the money's automatically come to me. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. That usually is the case. Because once you're able to spend money on a course that's a grand, you can then sell a course that's a grand. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. You know, as soon as I was able to buy a course that cost me 5K, guess what? The same month, I was able to sell a course for like six or seven bands. It's crazy how that shit works. But it opens up your mindset a little bit. So that's kind of my alpha right there. You know? And so now you kind of understand these different packages I have. Oh, a couple other things too that I had is is a low ticket. Now, my low ticket, low ticket, honestly, and I'm not proud of this, guys, my low ticket first, guys, $7. Now, this is when I was first getting into like online sales, online course sales, you know, and I first got that sale for like a two-week challenge. I saw that $7 come to my account. I was like, holy shit. Typically, this would take me like an hour worth of work if I would work any other job at like McDonald's. And I just made this just passively just by making a YouTube video. I don't want to give out those secrets yet, how I sold these. But like, I was like, fuck, that's amazing. And then when I raised it, I, I was like, that, great. I made a sale. I made a couple of sales. I was like, fuck it. Let's raise this. If I'm making sales right now, it's raised to $27. It's like, fuck it. If I'm making sales there, I made 47 And then at 97 plus, I saw some drop-offs. You know, I saw, like, sales kind of going down. So I kind of found that, you know, 47 was kind of that sweet, kind of that moneymaker where people have no hesitation to buy a course because it's only 50 bucks. Guys, I spent... I spend that on fucking Starbucks. I spend that on app subscriptions, you know, iPhone freaking subscriptions, to be honest. You know, my Tinder bill is more than that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. But what I'm trying to say is that people generally don't have a hesitation when it's around $47. You know, you're not really making money on that. If you're running ads to it, you know, the low ticket might just be enough just to cover some sort of ad cost, but you're not really making money on there. You know, my entire train of thought here was that Russell Brunson 
You know, I, I was originally from Click from Suzuko. I love it came around. I moved over to Go. I love this. What I'm trying to say is that I heard of Russell Brunson, and what he would do is he would sell a cord for like 1K. And it would pretty much retain the amount of money that it would take to an ad spend. I probably said that word that completely wrong, but what I'm trying to say is that this guy would spend around 1K plus to sell a course that costs 1K. He wasn't making any money up initially, but what would happen is that he would then roll those people around into some sort of 97 a month subscription, which was ClickFunnels or 297 a month, which is ClickFunnels. You know, that's how he really sold a shit ton and made his first million in ClickFunnels was initially by selling a course, which will overcome ad spend and then rolling people into ClickFunnels, the actual sales, the funnel development system over here. So that was my kind of my entire train process when I was going low ticket over here. And now how ultimately I made this entire system work was by combining it all into a crazy funnel, all right? And the funnel was was pretty simple, you know? I had traffic over here, and I'll talk about how I brought traffic in a second. I had traffic coming in, and I had traffic going to direct call me. I had traffic going in to low ticket. I had traffic going into CRM. And I had traffic going into... Actually, I didn't have it directly going into CRM. You know, I just had those three. It was CRM slash horse. So I would I would sell them together, you know, or give people either or, you know, this would be 750, this would be 750, or this would be 500, this would be 500, or this would be a grand, I get this already for free, you know, it this, the CRM course, you know, when, when I'm selling anything 1K plus, I usually had to end up closing these deals over call. You know, I almost, honestly, I never sold anything 1K plus that was not through a call and directly through a website, you know? So I was I had traffic going to these three different funnels over here. You know, the low ticket one was called the two-week challenge. Challenge. And this one over here was called like blow up your credit per business or automate your credit per business and learn how to run Facebook ads. You know, because everybody that was going into credit repair, I first found out that through my kind of doing some research and just fucking cold calling people all the time was that people wanted to immediately run, they want to, if they were going to credit repair, they wanted to run Facebook ads. If they're going to credit repair, they knew about ClickFunnels and it was just trying to kind of just transitioning into go high level. And a majority of my people will come in from credit repair cloud or client dispute manager. So I already had these, these, the understanding of the market prior. So it allowed me to really design my funnel. And guys, you know, this only came into fruition because I was doing 100 to 200 calls, cold calls every single day to credit card companies while I was in college, all right? So I, I quickly understood the lingo and how to kind of structure out my offers and how to really structure out my funnels. But now let's go into this. How would I freaking structure out my funnels? You know, this column makes sense, you know? On my on my on my link tree, on my uh, not necessarily my bio, my link tree, on my descriptions of my videos. I would have a direct call link over here, funnelhackerlab.com slash call us, whatever. You know, it's different now, guys. If you want my call links, you know, click the link down below. All right. So at least I'm kind of always changing those up. I've always got new offers out here. What I'm trying to say is that my first one initial call, simple, just call them right there. You know, it's on link tree, it's on the description of the videos. Low ticket one over here was a search on the two week challenge. Hey, get the two week challenge. In which case, you know, I'm gonna show you exactly how you get your first credit per client using organic and also paid means. And then the third one over here, uh, it was like, and I'm gonna, I can give you the exact one. Actually, you pull up the exact one real quick. All right, check this out. So none of these links work now. <laughs> this is kind of old. What I'm trying to say is that I had multiple different links over here. You know, conquer the two-week client acquisition challenge. Just lay the social foundation for your business and allow you to charge more. You know, get the full credit per business in a box. And this one I didn't really offer before. This is kind of like a little bit newer. You know, so it was mainly just two-week challenge, credit per business in a box, talk strategy, talk to me, Facebook group, 
and phone number, email. That was really it. Almost nobody really went to the email. You know, most important ones I had on here is the phone number was the two week challenge and also the credit fair business in a box, which would then take people to just get scheduled a call with me. Those are my main ones that you should have on here. So low ticket, high ticket, schedule a call with me, community, and some way to contact you directly texting or calling you. You know, I would, I would sometimes get people directly calling that number. And to be honest, I honestly hate that because people call me in the fucking weirdest times. People call me at like nine o'clock at night. I'm like, yo, what the hell is about to go? I just finished taking my girl out. I'm about to go bang her out. Like you call me now. Come on. <laughs> You know, and I would tell people to kind of reschedule or I would try to sell them really quick. And if I didn't find out, sell them in the first five minutes, I'd be like, yo, fuck you. Or just fucking schedule a call with me, you know. But nonetheless, let's go back to our little favorite whiteboard over here. Because we've got a lot more to talk about, guys. Now let's talk about the actual funnel. So let me clear this out here. Because I want to show you how I set up my two funnels. I want to show you how I set up first my my low ticket which will then roll them in to rec so low ticket for 47 which will then roll them into the CRM which they would recognize that it was at least 1k plus for the snapshots or 197 slash a month for just hopping on under one of my sub accounts. And then it will go over into a call. Okay. So it would say, it wouldn't show the exact price, but it would be like, hey, minimum of a grand, depending on what you need. And it would show like, hey, we got the courses, we got assets, we got training guides, we got the snapshots, we got X, Y, and Z. But you need at least a minimum of a grand to schedule a call with us or fuck off and just get this shit over here, you know? And then move them over to our call. You know, the second one over here that we had was the high ticket one. You know, the higher ticket one, which was the credit card business in the box. What I what I experimented with multiple and multiple different times was I was just taking people over to just uh whatchamacallit? The uh I take over people over to the account, just the homepage, which it would quite literally just be a replication of just this as the main page. But on the top of this page, it would show like, congratulations, I'm emailing you over the course. But check this out. What else we have over here? Kind of like upsell them. This would not have that pretty much. So it's a separate page. Um, but it would show the credit card business in the box. It would show the course. It would show the CRM. It would show this. It would show, hey, if you want to directly buy the CRM on a monthly note of four ninety seven a month, you know, go right now. And the second page, so like I guess like the offer. And the second page over here would be the actual, you know, uh, pricing page over here. In which case, if people want to directly buy right now, which is honestly never the case, one <laughs> k for a snapshot, I'm sending it over to you right now. Course, another one k. Or schedule a call. And but most people will end up clicking the call and just schedule up right there. So that's that's how I kind of design my funnels around it. You know, and of course, what I learned is that if they were uh, go high level allows you to do something pretty pretty intuitive, in which case, if you were if the user were to kind of hover over to the right, in which case they're about to like exit out, a pop up will appear and I'll make it say, wait, you know, check out this quick video, this quick testimonial, you know. And don't miss out on this amazing opportunity. And that would really work very well. Other things like Provely or Social Proof or Pops Up Social Proof works phenomenally as well too. But let me show you the actual in detail looks of what my funnel looked like. And then I'm gonna show you how I attracted a shit ton of very, very high quality traffic over to these funnels over here. So this is my older GHL sub account over here. My newer one is project alpha right now because previously i had you know funnel hacker lab been credit repair marketing as two different sub accounts but it kind of became too much for me and my team and i kind of just moved over into one where we kind of organize people based on what they want under one sub account it made my life so much easier I'm so glad i did that all right but 
What I did over here is I, I've I had two funnels. The first one was really the, the two week challenge, the $47 product. And we were initially saying, hey, check out the two week challenge, guys. I want to make sure you absolutely crush it. And I want to show you how to get your first clients either organically or paid ads. And it's a fucking no brain offer. You'd be dumb not to select it. That's what I made this two week challenge over here. Because my, my train of thought was like, hey, I'm going to provide these credible people with so much freaking value for only $47. They have to be stupid not to schedule a call with me. They'd be stupid not to spend $1,000 with me. Because imagine the amount of incredible value that they would get if they spent $1,000 with me. That was my train of thought. You know, if somebody's paid $47 with me, they're going to get at least $10,000 worth of value. You know, the average credit per client for somebody is a grand. You know, I want to teach them the system, how to get, how to start attracting clients to them organically, how to use paid ads to get them clients so that they'll be, that they'll be absolutely rolling in dough if they actually use my methods, you know? And I was literally showing them exactly how it was done. That's how this worked. In hopes that I'll be able to upsell them in later. In hopes that really I was just earning their trust so they could upsell them later. But yeah, super simple. What I would do is I would give them the credit card blueprint, which will show them how to optimize their social media presence to turn into a power of lead trap. I'll give them the credit card plan of attack, which was just showing them the copy, the images, the targeting, X, Y, and Z, everything you need to run to really just copy and paste ads, get good quality leads, how to create viral posts, and I'd also give them a choice of funnel templates. We wouldn't custom brand them out for them, but we'd give them a template for them. And they'd be able to choose what they want. Step two, learn to utilize your assets in the quick no fluff training, pretty much a training on how to just set everything up, how to, you know, get into go high level, use my affiliate link, how to do, set up the template, whatever. And then we would show them on the training how to get free traffic, how to run paid ads, how to get credit card leads like this, how to charge more, get referrals, how to book your calendar. It's just a whole bunch of success stories over here. You know, they pay $47 on a year and boom, boom, boom. Don't miss out. Pay me right now. And then what I would do is I kind of get to know the future. In which case, mainly, do you have funds? Do you have at least 500 bucks plus? I added this one later. I forgot to tell you guys about this. You know, but <laughs> and this is a, a fucking fantastic piece of alpha over here. In which case, after they bought that $47 thing, it would ask them, hey, do you at least have like 500 to 750 plus a month on a marketing budget? And if they had 750 plus, it'll move them over to the credit pair business in the box, which would be a higher ticket item. If they did it, it would just take them over to the membership, you know, to the course. Because I don't want to waste my time with people that are, that are low ticket, that don't have money to spend on me. You know, so one was getting to know the future to kind of warm them up. Second one was like, hey, do you have the funds? And then if they had, a, if they had the funds... Uh, no, no, what you call it? No, if they had the funds, it would take them over to the credit card business in the box. In which case, in the credit card business in the box, it would, <laughs> I'm like, ah, nah. it, would, it would show them what we can offer them more high ticket. It would show them, hey, this is how we get you a ton of leads. This is how we're going to set up your go level account. This is how we we'll automate everything. This is how you're going to get all this training. And it's going to be a thousand times better than that $47 chunk change thing. This is how thing was considered as chump change, you know? And I would offer them, hey, buy it right now for $9.97, right now, or three payments of $3.69. You know, this, I changed this out later. I was experimenting with this. You know, I didn't really find too much success for this. What I really found the most success with was just directly, hey, getting them to notice what we have available that's at least $9.97 plus, and then send them over a call. You know, and I'll get them to sign an agreement, congrats, blah, 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 easy, easy. Boom, just like that. That was a two-week challenge. And then the other thing I would offer people directly was the more high-ticket one, the credit card main over here. Which in case, oh, excuse me. Talking so much. Which in case was offering the credit card business in the box. And like I said, pretty much the entire point of this was really to sell my the CRM, the snapshot, and also the training on here. But it would just give them a brief, brief understanding of what exactly will happen in this training. First, we're going to optimize your social media. Second, we're going to organic clients and teach you how to become the expert with content distribution. 
Next, we're going to automate your entire business's back and your sales process so you can stop fucking relying on Excel sheets. Next, we're going to generate appointments on demand by running some ads to your Instagram. Next, we're going to teach you how to sell. Now, I'm giving you my five-minute script to success. All right, and now, boom, boom, boom. Success or success, success or success. Or success. Everything that you get included. Bonus value. I'm not going to show you how much it actually costs because depending on what you tell me, Hey, if you're making 20K plus, I'm going to sell you this shit for at least five racks. If you're making 5K, a grand, 10K plus, maybe two grand, you know? But then let's go over to your schedule call. I don't know if this works right now. It doesn't. But basically, it would take them over to this page over here. And I experimented between taking to a sales call or, or showing them this. You know, I find that if you're doing this, showing them prices you're really leaving money on the table because even if somebody did buy this for 997 you know the actual person that that goes through this you know they they want this setup they want to run ads and they're willing to pay for it so people that got to this page you know even if they're, they're they had 5k a month business 10k a month business or 20 50k plus regardless they're going to buy it no matter what but what I, I realized that if I would take them to the pricing over here, in which case they can just directly buy the course and the senior snapshot and they have the option of what you want to do here, I was leaving a lot of money on the table. Because 5K a month businesses, they would spend 997. 10K a month businesses, they, I would be able to sell them on 2K. But 50K plus, I can charge them whatever the fuck I want to charge them for this. They didn't give a fuck. They just wanted it. So I realized I was leaving a lot of money on the table. So immediately I scrapped the pricing. And what I would do is I would just take them over here, you know, credit for business in a box. I, I would make sure that they know they're at least spending a grand plus. And I would and I would know that by on the actual site saying, hey, schedule a call, and, but you need at least a grand plus. Or on the actual where they schedule up a call with me. Maybe it's in this one. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. On, in order for them to actually schedule a call with me on the actual, not the calendar, the go high level calendar, it would say, hey, um, it would say, hey, I need, I recognize that I need at least a grand plus in order to schedule a call with me. And the second question was like, if I find a solution today, would I be willing to make my investment today? You know, I don't want to talk to anybody on the phone if they weren't paying me, if they didn't have at least a grand, and if they're not ready to make a move today. If, I, if they weren't paying me, as if like consulting, I'm talk, talking about, I just stepped on my foot with my chair. That hurt. <laughs> cool, guys. So now you kind of understand my funnel marketing process behind this. Now let me show you how exactly I brought a shit ton of very, very highly qualified leads to these funnels. And it was a lot easier than you guys might think. And this strategy you can quite literally use for just about anything. I really just cut up my toe over here. Fuck. <laughs> Guys, I don't have an official chair yet here. You know, I literally just moved into this place. I'm building out this fucking studio right now. And I just stepped on my freaking foot and I'm bleeding. <laughs> Whatever. Let's get this shit done, guys. Let's show you how I can make you some money so that I can get a bandage on this or some shit. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Guys, how do I bring a shit ton of traffic over to my funnel over here? Traffic generation. Now, in this, I'm going to show you what worked, what didn't work, and what worked the best. All right? You know, initially, oh, I am bleeding. <laughs> initially, what I wanted to do, all right, initially, let's start from the beginning. Blade, how did I make my first sale? My first sale was $7. How to make that first sale? That was off a YouTube video. Okay? That was strictly off a YouTube video. I made a YouTube video showing off a bunch of value. I made two videos. One video showing off a bunch of value. I literally had two or three YouTube videos. I had two videos, two value videos. And I had one promo on my channel. I literally had three fucking videos on my channel. I'm going to have one subscriber, which was my mom. My other subscriber, my, my sister, my dad didn't care, so he didn't subscribe. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say, I had three, I probably had three subs and had three videos. But what, what really worked 
was that because prior to starting my YouTube channel, I was cold calling a shit ton. And I was working for a couple of credit pair businesses for free. Okay. I was working for a couple of credit pair businesses for free. So I understood how to really run some Facebook ads and I understood how to, how to post content. And I also understood how to utilize a shit ton of virtual assistants, how to recruit a bunch of virtual assistants to be able to help me post content on social media for credit pair businesses. So I had a couple of good solutions I was able to solve before I even started making some money. Okay. But really, honestly, how I made that first $7 sale was because I made two videos. My first video, I remember, was all about social media, how to make yourself an expert, and how to leverage virtual assistants to make just overall social media posting effortless. This one didn't really get a lot of traction. Nobody gave a fuck about this one. Especially with a credit card, nobody really gave a fuck about that one. But what people did give a fuck about was Facebook ads. You know, this one might've got like two views, but this one got like 30 on like the first freaking day, you know, it's great. And what I realized was that the person that bought, they watched probably the, the $7 thing. You know, cause I talked to them, I called them up. They watched one of the value videos, which was the Facebook ads one. And then they saw the two week challenge promo video. Like, oh, that's interesting. And then they might have they might have seen, I think they did see the other social media video, not really the entire thing, but like, oh my gosh, this guy's, you know, he's getting consistent. He's just starting out. I'm kind of starting to like this guy. Kind of knows who he's talking about. You know, watching his video, providing him some value, especially in terms of virtual assistant hiring. Fuck it. You know, let me check out this two-week challenge. Let me actually buy into it. You know, it was my first sale. And I was so fucking proud of myself, you know. <laughs> you know, first, first internet boner. <laughs> All right. But what I'm trying to say is that this person bought for me because he saw that I was just starting out. I was able to actually, my, my shit made sense. Honestly, that was the first thing that he told me is what, the reason why he bought for me. Because my shit fucking made sense. And because I was providing value in terms of virtual assistance. So he bought the two-week challenge. Two-week challenge pretty much gave him a bunch of templates, how to run the ads. It showed him what ads, targeting, images, and copy was really performing for me, you know? So honestly, I could have sold that shit for like a grand, you know, and just in terms of the amount of just value it had, just value stacking and shit, but I sold it for $7. I really want to get my foot in the door. And I'm sure later on in the day, uh, I upsold that guy a shit ton. But that was really my first sale. It was literally just by making sense in the value that I provide on my YouTube videos. All right. Pretty simple, right? Cool. Now, how did I make continuous sales and how did I fucking build my money printer? First thing is I wasted a shit ton of money. First things first, I hired a mentor. I paid this guy like a G note. You know, I had a construction business prior. I was making some good money doing construction, leap blowing, grass cutting, whatever. So I had a grand. I hired this guy. I totally forgot what the dude's name was. If I knew it, I probably would not name drop here because he was not the best. But what he did tell me was he taught me how to spend money on mentors. He told me he, he no, no. We know what he really taught me. He teach me how to run Facebook ads because I could have watched it on YouTube. And I did watch it on YouTube. But what he really taught me how to do is he really taught me is the value that that the the money that you can make helping somebody out and solving a problem. Even though he didn't solve my problem, he taught me that, which is fantastic. And I'm so grateful I spent that money. I would not, I would not ask for any money back on that. You know, even though it didn't really help, I would not. But what I'm trying to say is that through it, he put me onto Facebook ads. All right. I gotta stop saying all right. He put me on Facebook ads, in which case on Facebook ads, I started running a couple, but immediately what I figured out is I was is that I was too analytical, especially for me spending around 100, maybe 50 to 100 bucks a day. I was way too analytical. I was looking too much at the numbers and not about the actual offer that's converting. And so I soon came to realize after spending another probably like three racks before getting my actual first sale on Facebook ads, is that I quickly realized that I gotta stop relying on numbers. 
You know, if I have put up two ads, I mean, if I put up three ads, one, two, three, and just call, call click the raise five, this one's two, and this one's four over here. But if none of these are actually converting as no sales or no appointments, who gives a fuck about if people clicking on this? Something's not right. The offer is not right. If I'm not getting anything, if I spend like three grand on this and nobody's scheduling an appointment, if I spend a hundred bucks on here, 200 bucks and you're no one's scheduling an appointment on here, there's a problem with the offer usually. And yeah, it took me around two or three racks to finally figure that out, but thank God I finally figured that out. So what I then figured out to do was that I really got to focus more so on the offer. And so I started tailoring out my ads, not necessarily to convert, but to figure out what offer really works. So to test out the offer, you know, I knew people wanted Facebook ads. Because people were, were coming to me because of Facebook ads. So I had two ways of really testing out my Facebook ads offer. You know, first one was through vids. And the other one was through ads, <laughs> quite literally ads. And I would just run a traffic campaign because traffic would give you the cheapest cost per click. And I would just structure my offer, my lingo into three different ways. One, two, three. You know, and I was doing this organically and I was doing this through paid ads. And I would be like, hey. And I would be like, hey, I can get you. I'll work for free until we start making money. And then we do a profit split was one ad. Another one was like, hey, cheapest ad management. The other one was like fastest ad management. Another one might have been, you know, I'm going to run ads for you and I'm going to help you with social media. You know, so I'm kind of just testing my offer over here. Hey, I'm going to get you 30 clients within the next two months or I work for free, whatever. I was testing this out. And then how I really figured out the offer, what works is that this one, it's just numbers from there. Yeah, now, now it gets analytical. In which case, you know, this one might be a 3%, might be a 2 might be a 1 might be a 1 Great. Obviously, this one's working, so just focus more so on, on I'm going to run ads for you for free. And then it's going to be a profit split. We're going to run ads for you on a profit split, on a percentage over here. You know, that's why I really found that work first. You know, and then I just create multiple different variations of what's working. And then after that is I tailored out my funnel based upon the profit split one. So what I'm trying to say is I, I figure out the offer first, then I figure out the funnel. You know, with organic, same shit. You know, hey, I run ads on a performance basis. Hey, I run ads the cheapest. Hey, I run ads the, the 30, 30 clients or your money back, whatever. And through vids and through ads, I figure out the, the performance split was owed me the best one. And I would bring people to a call. It wasn't necessarily completely for free. You know, when I first started off, when I was cold calling, this was completely for free. But then when I was running ads, I was like, all right, cool. Just, you know, Rob, just give me like 200 bucks and I run the ads for free. After the first month or two, doing a performance basis. Beautiful. But that's how I figured it out. That's how I figured out Facebook ads. Next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to do Google. And then immediately what I figured out is that directly running Google ads Google directly to a funnel after spending around five racks on this shit, right? I'm getting fucking pissed off for like months and months straight. I realized that I don't want to make an excuse, but running Google ads for me and my offer to a funnel was not working. Mm -mm -mm, it was not. But what was working was running Google ads to my YouTube channel, okay? That's what worked for me. And what I also realized that doing search, like keyword, keywords, keywords, site visitors, Like credit per cloud, client dispute manager, Panda dispute, whatever, all these other softwares, and another secret one. You can put your ad in front 
of competitor videos. Now, this is alpha for me in front of competitors so that they would see my video prior to watching a competitor video. So if people were, were searching up Facebook ads and the competitor were talking about Facebook ads or credit repair, my ad would pop up first and be like, hey, this is how you run Facebook ads or credit repair businesses. You got to do X, Y, and Z, and I'm going to give you this shit for free. Boom, do a check out my channel. Go check out my social media um, blueprint, which is a quick freebie that I offer as well too. I check out my two-week challenge. It was a 47 little product over here. You know, but they would go through my YouTube channel first and then they'll buy it. That's how I got Google ads to really work. But I, I didn't really, to be honest, I didn't really scale Google ads. I really did scale as Facebook ads. Now, for your drawings again, let me tell you about the ultimate combination that allowed me to start really scaling this shit. Right? This, and, and I remember this. Because this is like, this was during Corona. This was in college and I was half in college, had a dorm over there. I was half living with my parents. And I remember, and I was, and I was living with my parents and my, my sister was across. And I remember knocking on the door like, Joe, I just fucking sold two. Joe, I sold two. <laughs> and I remember screaming on the door, it's fucking crazy. You know, I was selling two courses. You know, I was selling a course a day. I was selling two courses a day. And these are these are a band plus, you know. But what I find, the, the ultimate system over here was like Google Ads, based upon competitors, going to your YouTube. On your YouTube channel, you have description links in description and then from there now you give them a chance uh i later switch this up right now before how i had it i had it like call and then low ticket high and phone number but because i I'm constantly changing up those links and got too annoying to go back through 200 different YouTube videos and change up all the links. And I had my VA. I wasn't doing my VA. I was doing it. It was just so fucking annoying. I just made it one link tree. And I just made it so that I can just update my link tree with all the different links on there super easily. It saved me so much time. And I figured that hey, if they if they have enough money, you know, I, I was like, my first train of thought was like, oh, if I take them over, from the description to a link tree, then to my site. Is that, is that creating friction? And I was like, hey, these guys are gonna spend a grand on me. You know, fuck it if they had to go to link tree and then to the actual things. It's one extra step. You know, if they're they're committed to spend a grand, they won't worry about going to link tree then to there. It's not gonna create that much friction. And I was right. But what I'm trying to say is that from the links in the description, I then took them over to then my different offers that I had over here. You know, a high ticket, low ticket, call me, my phone number. Simple. And this was my, my process. And then what I did over here, so links over here, link tree, and then the actual offer. And then what I what I figured out to really work as well, too, is that I would run Facebook ads. Is that anybody that hit the site? Ah, anybody at the site, you know, if they offer, they convert right away, whatever. Um, if they if they didn't. They go to the site, I would use Facebook ads, and then I would just retarget them to, to my high ticket. Boom, just like that. And I would sometimes, what I'd also do is I would have a webinar that worked well. Webinar to call, and then hopefully to schedule. But I, I would rotate high, Ticket offer with the webinar as well, too. But the webinar was super fucking simple. My webinar was literally just like this. This was the oops, this is the page. It was like offer. I can do crazy offer. I can do X, Y, and Z for you running Facebook ads and credit card business video on how it's done, you know, schedule, whatever, and then success stories all below it. Webinar is super simple, just like that. Don't overcomplicate that shit. And obviously, 
if they go scroll to the pop the scroll if they go to like x out the page the pop-up appears as well too time to wait make sure you buy <laughs> but cool 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 guys that is how i sold a shit ton of courses all right uh if you have any questions whatsoever i really want to help you build your money printer straight up guys you know but I don't like working with people. I don't like working with people that don't pay me money. So you got to have at least a grand. And then what I usually do is we focus on more so growth partners. I don't really sell courses anymore. Hey, if you want to send me a grand? I'll fucking sell you a course, right? I'll give you the, the snapshot. But what we are focusing more so are on growth partnerships. If you want the CRM, the credit per CRM, we got you. If you want the credit per snapshot, we got you. But if you really want me is we focus more so on growth partnerships, in which case we show you exactly how to scale your business as if it was our own in exchange for a profit percentage of additional profits. So if you're interested in that, if you're interested in building on your money printer, if you need your credit for snapshots, if you want to hop on our sub account and just use our, our credit pair CRM, if you need some consulting, if you need some blade hotline, if you need some growth, if you need go high level management, or I want to hop on a growth partnership, any of those things sound interesting to you, if we can make you some money, guys, click the link down below. It's a link tree, which takes you over to our, all of our offers, guys. And I want to help you make more money, guys, so that we can get you that God giving God wealth. Freedom through God wealth generation. I love that. I love that how it sounds, all right? I'm kind of working on it, though. Freedom through godly wealth. That's it. Guys, I want to help you achieve freedom through godly wealth, guys. All right? Let's crush it this year, guys. It's become better than we've ever been before because you deserve abundance and you deserve the best. Guys, click the link down below with me if you want to hop on the communities or just need help with me. Let's build up the next money printer. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope this helped.